Hello and welcome back to another set of readings from Lotus Love Tarot 555. The readings today are going to be towards the new moon that is occurring on Friday, April 5th, 2019. This new moon will be in the sign of Aries. Now, Aries is a very ambitious and passionate sign. It is also a fire sign. So that passion coming together, illuminating this new moon. This is energy that we really need to set our intentions on. And so the reading today is going to help just kind of guide you on what area you need to be looking at to set your intentions. Now, for those who are joining us for the first time on this channel, thank you so much and welcome to you. Also, for those of you who leave your comments, you have no idea how your comments bless me. Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you are doing just to take the time out to do that and I you know I just can't say it enough I love you guys so so much because you make me realize what I'm doing is really assisting you and guiding your life where you want it to be and you know and really taking to heart the choices and decisions that you need to make to make your life the very best that it can be. Now, just a little information about this reading coming up. Um, right after this, we're gonna have a little product that's gonna be available to you. Also, remember that you can apply to apply this reading to your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, and for some, even your Venus. Now, remember that the messages can flip-flop, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. There is no time limit on these readings. It could have happened three months ago, it can happen today, or it could happen in the near future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555 and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you feel like this reading applies to you or if you feel like it doesn't apply to you but it will help someone's life, remember to give us a thumbs up. That will help us so, so much. Also, private readings are available and information pertaining to that can be found below. Okay, so at this time, we are ready to get into your reading. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Aquarius. Let's get right into your reading. The spirit, the divine creator of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? As they begin to set their intentions for the new moon occurring on Friday, April 5th, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What do our Aquarius need to know? Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on Friday, April 5th, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What do our Aquarians need to know as they begin to set their intentions? Well, that was a crazy shuffle. But that's okay. <laughs> the messages will come out. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go out, come forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on a new moon occurring on Friday, April 5th, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What do our Aquarius need to know as they set their intentions for Friday, April 5th, 2019 on the new moon? What do our Aquarius need to know? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What do our Aquarians need to know? Any messages for the sign of Aquarius? Any messages for the sign of Aquarius? Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on Friday, April 5th? 2019. What messages need to go forward for the sign of Aquarius? What do our Aquarians need to know as they begin to set their intentions? I'm going to take that one. 
Okay, so your first one says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you're single, just, just stay positive. You know, just know that, you know, the universe is going to bring you um, your desires and your, your heart's desires when you're ready. Okay, I must say that when you're ready. Okay, but just stay optimistic. And those that are in a relationship and you might be having, you know, some issues will have you right now, it's important that you stay positive and stand optimistic, okay, about what's going on and where it could go. Don't fall into the negative track. And you've got to trust. You've got to continue to trust your feelings. And you actually have two cards dealing with trust from two different decks. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So, again, if you're single and you feel like you're going to be single forever, it's coming, but you got to stay optimistic. It's the law of attraction. You attract what you put out, okay? So if you're internally, you know, being depressed and down and down and always, you know, worrying about having a relationship, you got to trust that you're going to receive what you put out, okay? You got to believe that if you bring in positivity, if you bring in high vibrations, that's what you're going to get out. But you got to trust that everything is happening for your higher good. That's why it says watch your thoughts, okay? It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. See, it's pretty much bouncing off what I just said. And I was telling you, you had two cards dealing with trust, trusting. It says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So trust yourself. Trust that you are being guided. God is guiding exactly where he wants you to be because there is an etern eternal love that's waiting for you. But sometimes, once again, we got to take the time to get ourselves in order first. And that's why it says, you know, get more information. Get more information about what you need to be doing. Get information about where you need to be. And once again, if you're in a relationship, this is the time to get more information from each other. Maybe learn some things you haven't learned from each other before. Do some things you haven't done before. Go places that you've never gone before. But the big thing here is watch your thoughts because if you're surrounding yourself with negativity, that is what you're going to get back, negativity. you got to stay in a positive mode, okay? Aquarius, if you want to take this reading to another level, I do have private readings that are available and information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.